Okay, my video recorder cut off, so we're into a um, another video here to finish this out. I don't know if I'll be able to merge these together or not, but we're going to find out. Now I need to go, I'm on this bird right here, so I need to fix around his foot. Fix that little bit of masking right there. There we go. Okay, he's on there pretty good. I need to go back to the other bird. That one. And my mask. And fix around his foot. We got a little too much green still showing there. And I really need to tilt him a little bit more. There to get his foot. Oops, too far on that. To get his foot, um, just a teeny bit more on the branch. That's a little better. Now I'll zoom out, and I will click on these layers and turn them on and off to see what I need. Masked away. Uh, he's in pretty good shape there. When I turn it on and off, I do see a little masking spot there. I need to get. Somewhere over here. Try to get that out of there. So, oh, wait, which bird was I on? That one. So, you need to get on the right layer. Okay, that one's done. Now, let's turn this middle one on and off. And I can see a few little areas on that when I turn it off and on where there's some dark. Off, on, there's a spot right there. Because sometimes you miss little spots. Now let's go to this one, and I've got an area off to the right, I mean left, down low, somewhere over here. Uh, somewhere over there. Around his beak needs some tuning up. So I'm going to zoom back into that particular bird. And get myself moved over there. See around that beak? Whoops, I scooted too far. My computer's acting choppy because it's processing that first video. Alright, we're going to go in close around his head. Oops. I'll bring some of that back. I don't want to lose the top of his head. There. Now we'll go the other way. And get in a little closer around this beak and get rid of this dark stuff. There. Okay. Now let's fit it to the screen. I still see a little area outside that beak that I need to... It, I know this is really small. I know where to look so I can see it. Okay, now I have all three of those birds in there. So what I need to do is lightly mask out, lower the opacity, and just gently go around the edges of the bird, which will help blend him in a little bit more with the actual background. It just tones down any uh, highlights around the edges, things like that. Now let's go to the middle bird and do the same thing. Gently mask away those edges, toning down any little random highlights or bits of green i let the green from the background come through. Now I've gotten over his head a little too much. So I'll go back the other way. And bring some of that back right there. Okay. Now go to the next bird. This one. Click on his layer. And do the same around him. Just gently go around the edges with a very low opacity brush 
and even on the feet on the branches it helps to blend in a little bit tone those feet down and I can zoom in to see how we're looking now one thing I do want to mention is I like to put a shadow underneath where they are I did get a little bit too much on this tail need to bring back some of that okay I'm gonna to go to the actual background layer now and I'm gonna get a burn brush and kind of sweep along that branch right underneath where his feet are which will darken that a little bit right there and under this one as well because they would be creating a shadow there and scoot it over to get to this third bird now he's got a lot of darkness right there so he's good so let me look at my star of the show bird right here and I do need to do the same thing with him gently mask around him with a low opacity to help blend him in a little bit there we go so now I've created this composite with the three chickadees over here off to themselves as if they're excluding this other bird but now this other bird is singing which goes along with what I said a while ago now I have the freedom to sing my own song and looking at things in a different light which working on this has helped me to accomplish that and to create this piece of art um, it makes me feel a little bit better about things it's better than sitting around with hurt feelings isn't it and you can create beautiful things out of things that aren't so beautiful in your life and this is an example of one of those and photo art is a great way to do that especially when we have a lot of pictures of birds for example in the different poses because you can make them the birds tell the story you want to tell and I'm going to go ahead and bring in um, one of the let's try the April sky set I just want to bring in a little light texture into this and this is the pastel set that I released this month and it's got some really great texture so I brought that in on top and of course that's too dark and that brightens everything up a little bit oops see how it brightens everything up and it adds that nice texture now it might be a little too bright so this is where you play with the opacity of it or you can add a multiply layer duplicate that change it to multiply bring the opacity down some let's see or you can just stick with the original layer bring the opacity down some on that it just it sh look at that lighting shift and I really like what that does and if it makes the birds you know make something a little too bright you can always mask off this layer I actually kind of like that though may make that bird a little bit too bright let's just lower the opacity some and let's duplicate it again and put it on multiply and lower that opacity some so you have a mix of both see it just really adjusts that lighting and now when you zoom in you can see that lo lovely pastel texture in here when you look up close that looks really nice um, you can also use other textures if you want to play with lighting so I'm gonna go to one of my very favorites I 
I have illumination and immersed in light. Immersed in light has this one though, which happens to be a favorite because it's, it's got the light coming this way. So I'm going to try to bring that in. Of course, that's multiply and that's soft light, and that's a little bit too bright. But if we do the multiply, duplicate it, put it on soft light, then lower the opacity of the multiply. I want the highlight to be on the bird here. And then we can bring this one down a little. It just shifts that lighting just a little bit. See, I want these ones over here who are doing their own thing and excluding this bird to kind of be downplayed a little bit. So I do want them to be a little bit more in shadow than this bird. And if, you know, one thing I think about too on these is color. If I don't want to shift that color too much, I just pull the saturation down completely on those two layers. And then it shifts the lighting, but not the color. And I just keep clicking them on and off so I can look at what it's doing. It may have put these guys a little bit in shadow too much, so I'm going to mask some of that particular layer off with a big brush. Just tap in there. I don't want them totally in shadow. I want to be able to see them. But see, it just takes off some of that right there. There we go. That's a little better. Now, I really like that, so I'm going to merge all of those into one layer. And after that, I can add more textures to it. I can edit it as a whole, play with saturation, sharpness, things like that. But I'm really happy with the way this looks. And I think I'm going to call this one Sing My Own Song because that's what I was trying to portray here to myself and to others, whether they know it or not. I just told you the story because I'm sitting here talking, thinking about it while I'm doing it. But that's how good art comes about sometimes, is by something that happens in your personal life, personal space, something you need to process yourself, you know, allow your photo art to, to do that for you. It can definitely do that. Think, you know, when I thought about this and how much this was bothering me, um, you know, my first thought was how, well, it has freed up a lot of my time to do other things that I wasn't able to do. And how would I demonstrate that with art? And of course, you know, it's given me a lot of freedom. So I was thinking freedom and I was thinking bird flying. And then I thought, well, a bird singing is, is kind of freeing too. And that then it just hit me. Some birds excluding another bird, kind of off to their self, leaving one bird out. But now that one bird has the opportunity to sing his own song. And that's kind of what I feel has happened to me in the last year in this situation so i feel i've done a great justice to myself by processing this through this piece of art and i will remember this every time i look at this and i can choose to tell the story to others if i want if they ask me about it if not i won't say anything and let everybody assume you know put their own story with it so anyway i hope that you might have found some inspiration in this video for editing, processing, f bird photos, textures, backgrounds, and even life in some way and, and using your art to help you process your own things. So as always, thanks for watching and you guys have a great day.